Hi everyone, thanks for your uh, coming. My name is Ted Chen. Uh, today I would like to introduce uh, the Preform SIG for you. Compared with the LLM, LLM SIG, the Preform SIG is quite different because uh, we are service-oriented SIG. Uh, before my presentation, I have to, uh, from the RVTA point of view, I have to thanks to Andy's especially thanks to Frank Ware, because uh, it's not easy to get a, this kind of uh, SOC chips, uh, because uh, I believe uh, Andy um, spent a lot of effort to create at least uh, SOC chips. Uh, so today we have uh, such kind of uh, Preform SIG can service our members and our partners. Uh, let me start my presentation. Uh, Let's talk about the reason why we want to build, we want to establish our uh, platform SIG. I believe it's because we want to promote the application of risk five, And uh, of course, we want to promote the risk five technology by system level demonstration, not only in software porting, but also including uh, uh, the whole system, uh, including the board and the chip, test chip. And we order, in order to uh, promote the uh, risk five technology and the use the case in various applications. And we'd like to support our technical partners and we'd like to align us together. We can share the information to each other and we can strong our ecosystem. And uh, the most important to us is that we uh, plan to deliver the RIX5 value, and we try to help our partners, our members to create their competitiveness. This is uh, the reason why we want to establish our uh, platform SIG. And right now, this organization is just beginning, so I'm the technical leader, and they have two distributors from Andy's technology. One is Mr. Ye, one, the other is Mr. Xie. And right now, I'm uh, under recruiting our team members that uh, if you have interest, you can contact us. The team members have some rights and application. You can access the uh, platform uh, technology information. You can participate in some uh, info activities like uh, platform promotion, plan, or even some expertise uh, sharing their technology. And talk about the, uh, the, the action plan. Uh, besides uh, today's uh, activity and uh, the recruitment program, next month, uh, middle of next month, we plan to hold uh, another promotion activity in the south of Taiwan, Kaohsiung. So if uh, you have interest in or you have a branch office in Kaohsiung, south of Taiwan, please uh, reserve your time to join these activities. And I believe that the most important for this platform SIG, as I mentioned, this is a service-oriented SIG. So we plan to bring the benefits and the value to our members. So this platform will bring the real-time CPU performance evolution because you will break through the speed and limitation of APGA. So you can uh, read really to port in your software and you can see the real result from our uh, systems. And you also can repeat uh, the software development. Uh, as you know, uh, because R&D, uh, especially software R&D, they spend a lot of time to uh, design their, uh, their, their products. But if, you, if they cannot run in on a real uh, platform, they will suffer some, uh, some risk. So it will save their time and uh, increase their confidence. And of course, they can easily to de develop more software applications that are difficult to verify with FPGA. And of course, we, you can share more application demos from all the partners. Those partners will help you to uh, create your software. And what the platform SIG do for you? Yeah, actually, if you need, we plan to do the demo for promotion and education. 
and we will help our partners and our, our potential partners and our members to evaluate your software IP. And you can do the software performance testing and the evaluation. And of course, if you, if you have planned to design a RIX-5 based SOC chip, you can base on this platform to verify our CPU core, like uh, X45MP and uh, NX27V CPU core. You, can, uh, you, you don't need to imagine, you just can uh, see the real result from this platform system. And let me introduce uh, this platform technology. As you know, uh, this uh, platform adopt uh, the serial nanometer process from TSMC. So I believe uh, uh, Frank will spend a lot of effort and uh, investment on this test chip. So this, uh, this uh, SOG chip is equipped with uh, two CPU core. Uh, the first one is, uh, is X45MP. This uh, equipped, equipped it with uh, four core. And second one is a vector CPU, uh, NX27V. And the memory were, uh, were equipped with 32K I cache and D cache and 2 megabyte L2 cache. 27V equipped it with 32K I cache and 512K byte D cache. And the max frequency, the, uh, the worst case, X45 MP. Up, up from uh, the, the, the minimal performance were, uh, were 1.5 gigahertz and up to 2.2 gigahertz. In general, we're up to uh, 2 gigahertz and above. And NX27V, we're up to 1.1 gigahertz at uh, worst case. And this design is more simple. It will be more convenient for software porting. So it only equip it with a per, uh, PCIe peripheral. You can uh, leverage the PCI, PCIe uh, interface to extend in your uh, peripheral interface. And we support the SPI known and then fresh interface. And the DDR spec is a 64-bit DDR3-4 up to 16 gigabyte. We support some uh, low-speed interface included uh, QSPI, UART, uh, I2C, and so on. And this is the PrayPhone system architecture. So just for your reference, the core name is QL7200. And um, this is uh, the, another system diagram for your reference. In, actually, we have live demo on Nextdoor, so you can you can visit our booth to see the real demo. Uh, this demo will equip it with a, a graphic card, SSD, and a USB hub to do some uh, operation and demo. And let me make uh, some uh, times to update the RIX-5 status. This page, uh, Ludai already showed before, so I don't want to m mention too much. What I want to highlight is, uh, like uh, mentioned by Ludai, the adoption rate is, is increasing a lot. So, uh, before end of last year, the, 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 the RIX-5 members are increasing a lot. And we predict this year also, we, be, we, we, uh, we will foresee the big growth of uh, the member uh, membership. And this is a RIG-5 uh, member's uh, grade. So from premier, strategic, and, and the journal uh, members. And talk about the ecosystem, we believe is quite important because this is uh, one of the most key, uh, key points of uh, RIG-5. So, we believe in the past decade, uh, there, there already have been more and more partners join uh, this uh, ecosystem already. And talk about uh, the application. Uh, we not only in the endpoint, but also the enterprise and uh, uh, AI and automotive. So you can, you can see they already have a lot of uh, application. They adopted RIX-5 CPU inside already. 
Uh, talk about the, the uh, future of uh, RIX-5. According to the research institution of uh, OMDIA, they predict that uh, the growth of RIX-5 will con concurrent with the rise of uh, AI and uh, especially uh, edge AI. And uh, they predict that be in the next six years, the total shipment of RIX-5 processors will increase by nearly 50% per year. It's quite big numbers. And they predict in automotive, also they will adopt RIX-5 and the shipping volume will almost over 66% nearly. And they predict that not only in automotive will adopt RIX-5, and also the AI solution were equipped with uh, automotive, especially on ADAS and IVI. And of course, we can see right now, most of our application, they try to uh, equip it with the AI function. So uh, we believe in the near future, uh, the RIX-5 CPU will be the major uh, core technology of uh, AI. And in the end, let me introduce uh, the software that uh, we already porting on our pre phone. Uh, this page shows uh, what kind of uh, software we already porting on our pre phone. Uh, Zephyr from Atos, and uh, OpenAMP, and of course, the most, uh, one, most important one is the Linux distribution. Uh, they included uh, OpenSUSE and uh, Fedora and so on. So later we will introduce the software page for you. Actually, those software already uh, uh, installed on our demo uh, site. So if you got time, please visit our booth site to, uh, to, refer to reference our software demo. And if you have any questions, you can uh, uh, talk to our expertise. This is the first page of Zephyr. This is the uh, open source first page, and this is the Chromium uh, the running on YouTube. This is a, a open source of uh, Chrome, and this is the LibreOffice uh, that already porting on our uh, systems. And this is uh, another game, personal personal gaming, uh, for your reference. And this is a Blender, this is a 3D creation software. And of course, uh, the, they have uh, one demo we want to highlight is, uh, uh, they have uh, uh, a software demo. Uh, they, run, they run in the open end with a tiny YOLO. They were demo the hybrid solution for both uh, X45MP and X27V. Uh, you, you can see they will do the image recognition and the image classification through those two CPU cores. They will do the cooperation between two CPU cores to do the uh, image negotiation and uh, classification. And this is the first page of Fedora and so on. So. Thanks for your listening. Uh, if you got time, please uh, visit our, our demo site. Thank you. <laughs>